Gabby Logan slammed husband Kenny as obnoxious for appearing on her podcast Smelling of Fish. The presenter, 50, scolded her husband of 25 years on her show, The Midpoint, for the unsociable antics that she was forced to suffer through during the recording last month. You've come back to the podcast room smelling of fish, which is just rude, she told him. Kenny cheekily replied, is it? Well, if you'd left me a nice lunch. Gabby shot back, did you eat a tin of tuna before you got in here? That's quite an obnoxious thing to do before you've got to sit in a small space with somebody, just so you know. The BBC presenter then went on to explain that her husband had been tucking into a lot of low-carb, gluten-free meals, like tuna, lately because of his food intolerances. Anybody who knows Guinea knows has a little gluten-free, aren't you? She continued. You are quite a fussy eater. Not in a way like a fussy child eater, you love food but it doesn't always love you. She then joked, we all know about it, before playing a fart sound effect. So that's why Hess having tuna on rice cakes for lunch, ladies and gentlemen, she added, laughing. I said it was sardines, quipped Kenny. To which a mortified Gabby responded, oh even worse. You had a tin of sardines before you came up here? Man alive. Scotland rugby player Kinney, 51, who has been a guest on previous episodes of the podcast, went on to discuss empty nest syndrome. The couple spoke about their anxiety over their soon-to-be empty home now that their 17-year-old twins Reuben and Louie, who they had through IVF, are moving out. Son Reuben has followed in his dad's footsteps by signing with Northampton Saints and will move an hour and a half away. Daughter Lois is planning to take a gap year off to Ray Levels and then go to university. The couple also chatted about how to support children through tough exam periods and what lessons their children are teaching them about life. Gabby turned 50 last month and previously said the landmark birthday has encouraged her to reassess her life and take a midlife gap year. She said on her podcast in April, I was talking to someone about divorce the other day. It was a woman who said, oh, it's a shame. I said, if you've been married 25 years, you've given it a good go. I think there's too much shame around divorce. A lot of it is unnecessary. You don't want to hurt other people and you want your children to be happy, and it's a very emotional time, but it doesn't have to be shrouded in shame as well, and this idea that you have failed, 